How you doing? Pat here with Pat's Rides. I thought I'd show you how I set up my new helmet for my motorcycle vlogs. Stick around, stay tuned, and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes and talk about this and I'll show you what I've done. Here it is the 1st of December. I need to get my vlog set up off my shoe berth onto my showy. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. I like this forward view here, but because of the latch on the uh, showy, I can't do it the same way, so I'm gonna to have to come off the side here a little bit. Pretty much the same thing goes for my column system. How I've got it here on the shoe berth. Gonna to have to reposition it here on the showy because you've got your lever here for your uh, visor, but shoe berth, I'm sorry, showy has their own system, which I am not gonna buy. I like my Cardo Pack Talk bulb that goes here. I will find a way to make this work. Okay, first thing I had to mount was my Pack Talk bulb. I took it off my uh, Schubert C3 Pro, so that pretty much killed the double sided tape. So, as you can kind of see here, I made some marks with a Sharpie. Yeah, I don't really care that I've got some marks here of where I wanted to put it, but then underneath here, you can kind of see a little bit of the Sugru that I used to hold the new mount on. Take the body off for just a second. We'll flip the helmet up. But basically, this is how I've got it mounted. I've got the wires mounted, or I should say ran up under the helmet. And I'll show you that here in a minute. It's kind of hard to do with uh, just one hand while I hold the camera with the other. But anyway, onto the front. I personally like the first person point of view best for a uh, helmet mount instead of a side view like some people like. But hey, that's just personal preference. So here I've got it mounted. And what I've done is because, let me get under here, this is the, the chin release for the modular helmet. I couldn't mount it right there like I did on my shoe berth. So I came off the side over here, and again, you can kind of see my marks where I was laying it out. And I'm hoping that this will last over time. I'm not real sure if it's gonna hold up, but again, you can kind of see down in here the Sugru I use. What kind of worries me, my Sugru was getting a little old and it seemed to kind of dry. So I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Okay, I heard a couple of you ask, what is Sugru? It's S-U-G-R-U. It's a moldable type of putty that when it hardens is a very good, strong, gluey surface. It's kind of like JB Weld in a way, if you're familiar with that. As you can see from the packaging here, it comes in uh, up its own little uh, sealed packages and... Uh, on both pieces that I mounted on my helmet, I used two packs for the uh, Pack Talk Bold mount and two packs for the Hero 7 mount. This is going to be the hard part to film. As you can see, I've got my mic sticking out here. For temporarily, right now, I've just got this taped down with some uh, scotch tape. As you can see, I've got the uh, wire running across my helmet. Got a little loop here for when it opens and then it goes back under my helmet. What I'm gonna do is experiment like this for just a little bit, and if it works, I'm gonna come back and just use some dabs of clear silicone to hold it. But as you can see, as I open my helmet up here, I'm not creating any pinch points, any tight spots. I mean, you can see how it runs up here. Sure, you can say I might wear the wire out in that location where it bends, but it's not like it's something that open and closes dozens of times a day. So let's look inside the helmet. All right, here's one of the ear pieces with all the liner stuff still installed. Now, the one downside to this showy helmet is it's made for its own system, which is a Cena, basically. So these Cardo Pack Talk Bold headphones barely fit inside the cutout. You've actually almost got to press them down in. And as you can see, there's a little bit of my wiring for the microphone, and I've just held everything down with some clear shipping tape. Let's move on to the other side of the helmet. Now, what I'm doing on this side, you can see I've got my speaker in there, and I've got the microphone that goes up to the GoPro unit. This is how I've been doing most of my videos. It kind of keeps it the wind noise down, but it also lets me hear what the uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold is hearing. So you can see I've got it taped down also. Now let's remove one of the uh, liners, and I'll show you what's going on inside. Back here is the battery compartment for the... Uh Cena system that you're supposed to buy with the Shoei, but what I've done is inside there, if you can kind of see, I've tucked all the excess microphone wiring in there so it's out of the way. 
And then down inside the helmet here, you can see the headphone jack. It's just dangling right now, but I keep it tucked up in there. And then you can see I've got the wire taped down that goes between the two speakers. It also acts as an antenna if you use the FM radio feature, which I don't. And there you have it. That is my vlogging setup for my new Shoei Neotech 2 helmet. I hope you liked this video. If you got anything out of it, give me a good thumbs up and uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.